morning. This is Gabriel. It's December 26th. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Um, Christmas. Oh, Christmas. I'm obviously dialyzing. Um, I'm in the hospital, so. Uh, but uh, this is what the machine looks like. It uh, takes the blood out of my, um, well, looks like my chest. And, uh, and uh, get out of there. And it goes to the machine, it filters it, um, takes out liquids and toxins, and uh, then it puts it right back into my body as, uh, as clean blood. It's essentially, a, uh, an external kidney. Um, but I do this about three times a week. And uh, we're doing here at the hospital because I'm still at the hospital. Um, but uh, we've been here for a couple of days. Uh, we didn't expect to be here this long. Um, uh, and you know, it is what it is. I, uh, I wish uh, I wouldn't have had to spend that time in the hospital, but um, we're dealing with it. So, um, so, uh, so here we are. Um, but. Uh, um, This morning was a really beautiful morning. Um, the doc, uh, um, we got a, at one point we got an update and that um, that my my lungs seemed to be filling it with some sort of liquid um, at an extremely fast rate. Like something's going on. Um, so. Uh, um, that's why they actually decided to keep me for the time that they're, they're keeping me. Um, but um, uh, um, and I was also dialyzed. Uh, I guess Monday morning it was one o'clock in the morning. So um, uh, this last night was the longest distance that I could have had from from my last dialysis. So. Technically, I should have had a high accumulation of fluid. Um, last night, technically, should have been a very rough night. Um, but uh, before we went to bed that night, um, uh, Gabriella and I just spent some time listening to some meditation, and and, um, and it was really beautiful. I um, we were able to just kind of. To center ourselves, and um, and in that space, it something something dawned on me. I um, it occurred to me how easily we accept the idea of, of being of being abruptly sick. Um, the fact that my lupus nephritis came across so quickly um, is, is just so. We just accept that so easily. Um, but if somebody were to have literally overnight just walked up and just be healed, um, it would seem like a phenomenon. But something about that, that doesn't make sense. How is it that one direction makes sense, but the other direction, direction doesn't? Um, they're both as they're both as abrupt as the other, and there there is no difference, really. No degree in um, difficulty in miracles. And uh, um, so I was just conscious of of, of that. Um, uh, um, of how natural it is to heal. as it is to see someone get ill. It's just, it's, a, it's like a light switch, but we don't see it that way. And I just kind of sat with that for, for a little bit. Um, and then that night, I, sl I, at one point I just decided to lay down. Remember I was in, sitting in a chair because I didn't want to 
fill my lungs up with, with fluid. Um, and I was planning to sleep in the chair. Um, but I decided I was gonna take a nap on the bed very quickly. And I fell asleep. I fell asleep horizontally, which is a really bad idea. Because when I sleep horizontally, as opposed to having my back up, as, as you see me now, um, the fluid will just slowly accumulate into my lungs. And middle of the night, I will just wake up not being able to breathe. And I woke up at 3 o'clock or so, and I was fine. There was no fluid in my lungs. Um, now, mind you, I, 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 I've, uh, I'm the longest distance away from my dialysis. The day, and they had just done an x-ray and decided that my, my lungs were, were back to what they had found me when they first saw me. Um, so I should have had a rough night and there was nothing. Um, Matter of fact, at one point in the night, I went from going on my side, which is preferable because if my lungs will fill, they'll only fill this half and then I'll be able to breathe with the other half. But I flipped over and went back just like this, um, which would, would fill the entire backside of my lungs and nothing. I felt great. Um, um, and I'm just conscious of the fact that um, at uh, our state of mind and, and holding a place of, of prayer and meditation can, can just transform and heal you. So, um, so that was my little Christmas miracle. Um, and it was really exciting. Um, yeah, so um, hopefully we're going home today. Um, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, we will see you again. Thank you.